you guessed it, Isaias has strengthened into a hurricane. The National Hurricane Center tweeted that the storm has increased to hurricane status earlier this morning. Right now, Isaias is over the southeastmost part of the Bahamas. This after hitting the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico with torrential rain. A hurricane warning has been issued for all Bahamas islands, and now a hurricane watch has just been issued for parts of the Florida East Coast. And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast with Marcus Bagwell. Marcus, we've been watching this growing storm all morning, but will it be stronger than Hannah was when it hit Texas last week? Well, That's Cindy, it's going to be very close. Uh, earlier this morning, there was an indication that it could become a Category 2 storm. This morning's update from the National Hurricane Center that was released at 10 a.m. does show that it might not be as strong, but it's something that we have to watch very closely. It's moving into some warmer water here. It's on the southeast part of the Bahamas right now, bringing a lot of rain here in Hurricane hurricane warnings as Cynthia mentioned all along the Bahamas vicinity at this time. It's a category one storm. Winds have actually decreased here just a bit only by about five miles an hour to 75 movement to the northwest at about 16 miles an hour. Here's the anticipated track heading right toward the main Bahamas islands as we get into early Saturday morning. There's going to be a lot of flooding here over this region. Unfortunately, a category one storm with top sustained winds at 90 miles an hour come Saturday morning. That's where it could strengthen maybe to a low end category two. We'll watch that closely. Now the Hurricane Center has put out hurricane watches near Melbourne, Florida, which is on the east side of the state. That's because landfall could occur near that region come Saturday afternoon heading into early on Sunday, and then it still remains a category one through late weekend heading up the Georgia coastline, then to the Carolinas as we move toward Monday and then by Tuesday and Wednesday all the way up into the New England region. So this is a system we will be talking about for several days to come for us, and we'll be watching to see how this will track over the next few days. In the meantime, no impact with EICS for Texas. Our story is a front coming in a rare summertime front that's going to bring some lower humidity. We have sunshine outside from the top of the Fredonia Hotel. Look at how warm it is. It's 85, but it feels like 95 degrees. And here's live Doppler radar as we have some storms that are moving through none yet in deep east Texas. I think that'll change though because you have some sunshine that's instability in the atmosphere and we have a front on its way. Some heavier rainfall coming through places like near Longview just to the south and east of the Gilmer area. You got some rain there. Winona, you've just had a few showers. Kilgore, you got some rain knocking on your doorstep shortly. We've had a few brief showers also in the Tyler area associated with this front. But as it continues to move to the southeast, the precipitation chances will also move to the southeast as well. So here's future cast with the rest of this afternoon. Greater instability in deep east Texas will trigger more thunderstorms. We could have a few stronger thunderstorms here, so we'll need to monitor those closely. There is the potential for some gusty winds, maybe some hail, but heavy rain like what some of you are seeing now that can be expected. 89 for this afternoon's temperature with that storm chance. We will see some sun, especially once the front continues to move through and tonight we're dropping down to a low temperature near 70 degrees. So some cooler weather is coming in as we get toward the weekend, mainly in the mornings. The afternoons will be comfortable, but still warm highs near 90 both days. We're going to heat up a bit more as we move toward next week, but we will enjoy a break from the humidity because typically we're talking about upper 90s and near 100. Here's deep east Texas. You got storms on the way this afternoon. None there yet, but they're coming a few more isolated showers possible on Saturday.